Oh, we just tore it right in half, actually, with that one. I don't think... I'm not sure if it can come back from that. Oh, wow, now we're, we're playing soccer with this half over here. <laughs>
Oh, it feels so good. What a stress reliever. I gotta tell you something. I had no idea that I was going to enjoy creative games like this the most, because I'm not really that creative of a guy. But man, it's a good time. Ooh. The sub. I'm actually quite curious about this sub against something like Grindulus. Grindulus really does well at ripping critters out from the sea. And since the sub is something that stays beneath the waves, I am interested to see exactly how these two interact with one another. This is kind of the turning I was talking about. The turning is definitely, it can be better. And there's probably things I can do with Grindulus here to make it a little bit a little bit more maneuverable. If you guys have any suggestions for Grindulus, feel free to let me know. I mean, I guess I could probably, like, take some spikes out or put some, um... Put some rudders there or something. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. The sub looks pretty languid. It's actually not moving so fast. We are moving right into the cannons, though, so we are going to take some cannon fire. Grindulus can take a beating, though. I'll tell you that. Okay, that was a direct hit from the sub. Oh, boy. But we have the sub in our grasp. Grindulus now just tossing this sub around. No damage, though. Maybe one block missing. That was actually a very good hit from the sub there. I think we're almost in line for a beating here. Come on, you little sucker. Come here. Oh, that was a direct hit to our rudders, actually. Okay, this is it. We're gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, he's getting tossed now. And this is where you go into reverse mode right here oh yeah that was actually i don't know i don't think we did that much damage to the sub Ooh. oh we're right on the middle now the sub's actually flexing flexing right in the middle i wonder if we'll rip it completely in half oh god i think we just did no the sub is still together but after beating it through the actual waves there <laughs> the sub finally finally meets its maker now to be fair if I was fighting, if I was fighting Grindulus, I, I imagine I could beat it as the sub. Because as long as you keep your distance from this thing, you should be pretty darn protected. Let me see what else we have here in the workshop. I know I got some really cool Deathbringer. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and give Deathbringer a shot. And then probably one of the big galleons or something like that. I do want to try a really, really beefy ship against against this creature here find out once and for all who can take the biggest pounding uh, ha, ha, ha. no that is not what she said let's move forward oh it looks like this is going to be a head-to-head -head battle deathbringer has no fear of death that's why they call it deathbringer oh my god now it's kind of turning wait now it's turning away from us no deathbringer you've lost it you've lost your you've lost your edge You've lost your fearlessness. Turn back around. Oh, what's happening here? Deathbringer is surprisingly agile for what looks like a... R oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, those are direct hits. Right to the area that we have absolutely no offense in. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad to meet this thing. And I'm not really sure that we can. Oh, man, we're losing blocks left and right here. It's getting excellent hits on our on our side. Oh boy, we're we're taking we're taking a beating now. Oh no, it's heading straight into the grinder. Oh, foolishness, foolishness. No, oh we're t <laughs> it's t tossed up in the air. But it's still in one piece. Oh, it's still in one piece and it's firing all cannons. Oh no, this this is bad. Oh, this is it. Caught a little bit of the spikes there from the old Grindulus. That was a pretty good shot, actually. All right, we're coming up coming up the rear now with some... Oh, boy. I think we just ripped the ship in half. Oh, this is going to be a good hit. Oh, no. Oh, the Deathbringer is caught in the worst spot of Grindulus right in the middle. And Grindulus has full forward motion. That right there is total death to any ship. That, crumb, that comes up against Grindulus. Holy crap, though. Battle 1 took three minutes to do it. I may have to edit out some of the circling in that one. Let's go ahead and give it one more shot here. I want to go into the verses, and I want to pick. I know there's one big old ship here. Now, there's a few big old ships that I can't pick. 
Ten, ten Taklar's battleship, unfortunately, is just way too much on the screen. The computer just can't handle it. There is way too much stuttering. I wonder how this will do. This this is a pretty big ship, it looks like, so I don't know. Well, things look pretty smooth, actually, so far. Doesn't look too bad at all. Let's go ahead and get right around half and then push it into full. And we should be able to get... Oh, this is going to be perfect. As long as the ship actually comes to us as well. Now, about 15 knots, like I had said, is your fastest forward motion you're going to find here in Grindulus. If you're ever using this ship, it's going to be in the workshop. I'll go ahead and upload it for anyone that wants to give it a shot. If you want to see if you can make some additions or make some changes for the better, obviously feel free. But... Right about, let's see, man, this ship is like going straight, straight away from us. I can see how deep that hull is, though. That is a beefy ship. Holy crap. I don't know how we're going to do with something quite that heavy. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like it's got some armor on it, too. Oh, this is going to be actually really neat. I imagine most of the firepower is on the sides. I don't like how it's heading straight away from us, though. There's one thing that I have noticed about the versus mode, and that is that you can leave the area, and uh-oh, oh, it's attempting a broadside maneuver, it might get some hits off, let's see here, the grinder kind of meeting up with the ship, oh wow, oh this is bad, these two behemoths coming face to face, but Grindulus has just literally pushed it straight down into the, into the water, but the boat is still managing to move. Oh, it turns upright. The big old battleship actually turned upright after getting dunked into the water. That's awesome. What, incre what incredible buoyancy. Most other ships probably would have just keeled over and that would have been the end of the match. Excellent job on this ship. Holy cow. Now, about, I don't know, maybe 10% of the ship has been ripped off. But we've definitely taken some damage as well. You can see right in the middle there, we're actually l missing all kinds of blocks. Let's see if we can turn the turn the speed down a little bit here so we can maybe aim up. Oh, wow. This We're definitely going to take some fire, but this is looking to be an excellent hit right here. Oh, yeah. Right into the rear of the ship. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, we just tore it right in half, actually, with that one. I don't think, I'm not sure if it can come back from that. Oh, wow, now we're we're playing soccer with this half over here. <laughs> oh, the ship still sails. Holy crap. This is a true battleship, folks. Oh, my God. The sea is just littered with parts at this point, but it is still sailing. I don't know if it has any firepower left. I'm really curious. We're going to have to go up for another pass. Oh, here we go. The course has been plotted. Those side, those side, oh no. Oh wow, it actually took a, a big chunk of our, of our craft out. Oh wow, but those side, oh no, wow, just blew right through it. I was going to say, those side spikes managed to do a whole ton of damage to that ship. Holy crap. All right. That is Grindulus the Mighty. Doing a little bit of work there. All right, I actually wanted to fight against Grinulus. The only problem is the computer has no idea what to make of that ship. It just kind of, like, runs away from you. I have a feeling that because it doesn't understand, like, how the weaponry works, it doesn't... It believes that it has no weaponry, and thus, to, like, keep itself alive, it flees from the battlefield or something. I don't know. Anyway, though, I hope you enjoyed seeing what Grindulus can do in a battle. If you guys come up with any ships, and you want me to put them to the test in one of these videos, feel free to just kind of link your ship below. Let me know where it is. I will download it and give it a shot in some Mortal Kombat in the versus mode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.